morning preschool today we have a book called the best nest because we're going to talk about birds this week and if you've noticed there are lots of birds out now that it's spring i have a bird feeder in my backyard and my husband and i stand there all the time at the window and just watch all the birds we've even had woodpeckers and the little yellow finches so Let's enjoy Bird Week with the best nest. I wish you were here because this is like really, you can touch it and it's kind of sparkly. You would like it. In a tiny nest at the top of a tall tree lived little Owl and all his brothers and sisters. There's not enough room, said little Owl. So away he flew to find a new home. Splish splash, little Owl's friend Frog was playing in his pond. Hello, Frog, hooted little Owl. Your home looks fun, can I stay with you? But, splish, little Owl's feathers got soaked. Ooh, too splashy for me, he said sadly. And off he went to find a new home. Hmm. Crunch, scrunch, little Owl saw a hedgehog burrowing in a nest of leaves. <gasps> hedgehog, your home looks so warm. Can I stay? asked Little Owl. Please do, said Hedgehog. So Little Owl snuggled up beside him, but, ow, Hedgehog's spines were sharp. Sorry, too prickly for me, said Little Owl, and off he flew. Ooh, swish, swoosh, Little Owl found Spider spinning her silvery web. What a beautiful home, Spider, said Little Owl. May I stay here? Of course, said Spider. Little Owl stepped into the web, but, oop, wiggle, he found himself in a tangle. Too sticky for me, he sighed, and off he swooped. Mm, scritch, scratch, Little Owl met Mouse, peeking out of her nest in a tree trunk. Mm, it's very cozy in here. Come and try, Mouse squeaked. So Little Owl tried to squeeze through the hole, but, bump, he couldn't fit. Mm, sorry, too small for me, he said, and away he fluttered to find a new home. Mm, up, shriek, squeak, little Owl found the bats hanging in their cave. Mm, this home is very peaceful. Please, may I stay, asked little Owl, trying to hang upside down, but thud. Little Owl crashed to the ground. Ouch, he said, rubbing his head. I'll have to find a new home. Oh, chirp, chirp, little owl heard the crickets singing happily in the grass. Oh, what a friendly place to live, said the little owl, but eek, his ears began to ache. Too loud for me, said little owl with a big sigh. Mm, where should I go now? Poor little Al, he was all alone in the cold night with no home of his own. He missed his old nest and all of his brothers and sisters. And just then he heard, hoop, hoop, my brothers and sisters, cried little Al, and he soared off to join them. Look at that. In a tiny nest at the top of a tall, tall tree, little Al snuggled with all his brothers and sisters. It was noisy, hot, and way too small, but it felt just right. This is the best nest, said little Owl happily. Hoot. I like that book. I hope you liked that book. Hope your day's great. I'll see you tomorrow.